Honestly, the Harry Potter studio tour was absolutely incredible. I'm here to show and tell all about my experience from the studio tours, so let's get into it. <laughs> So three weeks ago, Christ has it really been that long? Three weeks ago I took a trip and treated my brother to the Harry Potter studio tour in London. I personally am not a huge obsessed fan of Harry Potter, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to confess that to you guys now. However, my brother is a big fan. I have watched the films, I know a lot about it, but I'm just not like obsessed over it, I don't have that heartfelt attachment to it but yes I'm gonna be doing a review and talk through about everything that we did everything we've seen without giving too much away because I don't want to spoil it for you guys who are big fans of Harry Potter and are looking to go here in the future just want to kind of explain what I thought about it show you a few clips and yeah basically <laughs> So first of all, as mentioned, I will talk about the location, price and accessibility. It is not based in central London, it is in Watford, which is around 25 miles away from the centre itself. However, it is quite accessible to get to. You can get by car, bus, coach, train. So the price of visiting the tour is around £45 and upwards. It can vary because there are private tours, VIP tours, but there's kind of packages for everyone. So yeah, check out the website for anything kind of related to the tickets but yeah you are kind of looking at £45 each. When you do book your tickets you do get allocated time slots for your arrival but once you're there you can spend as much time as you want and for that main reason is because once you're in the tour itself you do get to go through like a cinematic experience, learn all about the history and stuff like that so those ones are kind of timed and then once you're in you can kind of just have a little gander around, take as many photos and stuff like that as you want but it's just the initial cinema process, they can only seat a certain amount of people that is the reason why it's kind of like timed like that if that makes sense. So yeah for location then as I said it's based in Watford. We stayed in London, I booked tickets from Euston station which is a train station straight to Watford Junction. That was quite affordable, I booked it on train line and then from Watford Junction literally right outside the train station was the bus transfer that they supply that goes directly to Harry Potter Studios. That is £3 for return and you can kind of return whenever time you want. You don't actually book like a time to go back. So that's really good. But I'm sure there'll be taxis and stuff like that available and Ubers in London to get to Watford Junction or wherever you plan on going. There is a huge car park in the studio park. So if you are driving, brilliant because there's loads of places to park and I believe it's free to do so. So a little bit about the Harry Potter studios itself. So it starts at half past 12 and it basically started off with the cinema tour which I mentioned earlier and we kind of just walk through the queue. The queue is kind of like not standstill. It's kind of like a walk through queue where you get to see a little bit of history about the films. You get to see um, Harry Potter's room underneath the stairs and you get like a little insight of what's about to come basically, just like history about it. Following the cinema, you get to see the main attraction itself, which is the main hall, which was absolutely amazing. However, the only thing I would say about this was we did not get enough time to spend in there due to the whole cinema process and getting people in and out. That's the main reason behind that, is a lot of selfie opportunities, a lot of photo opportunities to take, but not enough time to kind of take it all in after you've taken all the pictures, if I'm being honest but it looked absolutely incredible. Even for someone like me who is not obsessed with the film, I felt like I was in the film and it made me feel really really good. I will insert a few clips from the main hall itself and all what I've just said now so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about in person. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, this is the Great Hall. It was one of the first sets ever constructed for the films and one of the largest. It stood for more than 10 years in a sand stage just over there. Which reminds me, everything here is as it was during production, which means it's all ready for filming, so please feel free to take as many photographs
Dumbledore's office is a really magical space. It's got a real sense of personality and humanness of Dumbledore. Found the web. But where's the source? I hate spiders. Harry. Go on, mate. from those clips a lot to see and do and discover a lot to learn about the tours it was very very interesting to learn about the props how they made the sets it was crowded but not overly crowded like not like heaps of people where you can't get to certain stuff you wait around for a little bit you can kind of get your place to kind of see you know Dumbledore's office you get to see the boys room the flying car scene like how they made the car and how they kind of made the robotic stuff around it that was really cool it was just so amazing like all the behind the scenes parts and just learning so much about the costumes characters and all the hard work that was put into these films like it's just amazing so i will insert that now i'll stop talking so you guys can enjoy more harry potter behind the scenes of the studio tour so let's do that So yeah, to summarise, overall such a magical, wonderful day. If you are a big fan of Harry Potter, I definitely recommend you go and do it. If you haven't done it, why not? It's so cool. I 100% recommend going to visit this for a day out. The things that I've taken away from this trip is plan your trip, plan the date, plan your journey, plan if you're going to stay there, take a lot of money with you because the merch store is absolutely incredible. I'm not sure if I got any clips on that actually, but the merch store was absolutely incredible. So much stuff around there to buy for individual needs. They have wands, 
they have t-shirts, they have scarves, they have the cloaks. The cloaks were quite expensive, they were £80 each I think. So that's it for today's video, I really hope you guys have enjoyed learning and finding out more about the Harry Potter studio tours. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed watching, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me in the future as autumn and winter is my favourite time of year. I kind of come more alive at this time of year. I love it. So yeah, feel free to check out more videos. A few weeks left until Halloween, so I will be uploading a few Halloween tutorials for you guys. So yeah, that's all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the tour and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.